welcome to jmeter tutorials today you will learn how to use if controller in jmeter so what is the if controller if controller is useful in verifying the <coughs> verifying the child request run or not means what is the if controller having we are adding child request means http request or any other request you can see here sample these many samples you can add so if control what it will check means whenever the child request means under if controller we are adding http request that is a child request it will verify whether it will run or not which is depends on previous request so let's get started uh, if controller using so i have added third group under third plan and I have added one sample uh, request setting up tutorial normal uh, of uh, block spot and uh, I have added two if controllers one is verifying the title when is uh, when it is properly so actually condition default is a JavaScript so what this condition will check means it will check only true or false okay so just like boolean valid and uh, so when coming to two options we are having one is interpret condition as variable expression so when i am declaring this one it will verify as a single variables so it will verify interpret condition variable expression means suppose you can write like this dollar you can write like this found found means it will verify true or found true or false okay so your uh, so here variable declaration will come as here you need to enter dollar here you will come variable name this is the name so double quotation now equal to equal to i want to verify some text variable text like condition so what you want to verify so so in order to achieve this expression to be passed so you have to copy from your previous response which you, we are using so this is my request so i am getting the rec uh, response in view result tree from the response you need to verify whether this actual title is displaying or not so how you will achieve this one means with the help of regular expression extractor so you, where you have to add add post processor you will see a regular expression extractor right so i'm removing so i have added already so here what you have to do we have to add re reference name and regular expression will come as like this so why because i want to i want to get this title of the page so what are the page http request i'm using from that i'm getting response from the response i want to get the title of the page so here see title this is a close tag this is open tag title close tag so between i am using uh, open bracket dot plus semi question this is a question mark close the bracket from this so which is a reference name which will store under this between these two so under this regular expression we have to add so like this so what it will do it will verify the title and store it under reference name this is a title so template will come as dollar dollar one so means how many variables you want to store so i want only one response text which is coming under title title okay so remaining map match number of zero this is a template so one match number of zero random not found so not required and the default value is not found I mean, you can enter any error uh, something you can enter so now what will what will it will happen means so what is the reference name title it will store this regular expression value into this one so what will happen title equal to here it will say regular expression value 
so why I want to use regular expression extractor means by extracting this value you can use under if controller so here if controller I have uh, given right so my variable name will come as here it will come as sorry here it will come as title so your reference name will come as title next your actual response you what you want to verify so my verification is selenium tutorial selenium tutorial this is my title of the page i want to verify so this title will come from regular expression extractor this title now so I have explained that if controller will depends on previous request whether it will get our pass or fail then only your next request will run so I have declared here title this will come from regular expression extractor so let me run this one so you can understand so we, if it is true then only it will execute otherwise it will not execute so so what will happen it will not executed let me search for a title this is selenium tutorials right so it will not executed and uh, if control i have given title selenium tutorials so i have create uh, selected this checkbox that's why it will not executed properly so let me run one more time now it will execute second request apm interview questions right so mostly you don't have to select this condition as a variable expression so this one as a it will select as a variable expression so if we have selected this it will continue it will change as a variable so your variable will not match so it will come as false okay so same like you can use here so i want to add post processor no no from uh, HTTP request you can add regular expression extractor here you will enter as a title same I want to verify title only so here I want to give wrong one so that you can know that how it will work here it is will come as not found right so I want to add one uh, debug sampler so let me add debug sampler here it is already added sorry right if uh, APM interview questions I am writing response addition is to one regular expression I am using debug sampler so under if controller I am using APM top 17 interview questions so let me sorry sorry let me add here APM right APM, there I am using APM so small letters so debug sample I have added so let me run this once So it will not execute this one. This QTP tutorial is not executed. So let me. So why? Because debug sampler giving top 17 interview questions as a title from the regular expression extractor. So this is my title. And uh, so why this one is not executed means here it is given, but regular expression extractor is giving wrong one have entered top 17 AP interview questions but what it is giving top 7 interview questions so this is a same thing it has given but some spelling mistake will be there top 17 let me add this one not sorry actually I have selected this one that, that's why it is not executed so let me run this one it will execute all the three HTTP request one by one next it is giving APM sorry QTP tutorials right so what we will do if controllers will work whether the child request are executed or not whether it could be a pass or fail 
so next if controller you want to execute the if controller then it will depends on previous request whether it is pass or fail if it is pass then only your previous next request will execute otherwise it will not execute so let me give you a wrong one so i have given wrong one now you can see let's see here it will execute only Selenium tutorials and APM interview questions but QTP tutorials will not execute why because I have given wrong one here wrong page title it is it get stop but it has executed only two requests so QTP tutorial is not executed so in this way you can use your if controller in a JMeter to verify whether your previous request is get pass or fail okay Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my videos and please provide your valuable comments.